What's up everybody, D-Man back, welcome to a brand new video, and today we're going to be doing another Godzilla vs. Kong video. I guess this is technically a news and updates. We're doing another news and updates. <laughs> Alright, Godzilla vs. Kong's IMDb has just been updated. Take everything I say here with a grain of salt. We don't know how accurate any of this stuff is actually going to be, but the IMDb has been updated, and so now we can see the characters' names for the movie. Lots of characters' names, lots of things going on here. I did a video like this a uh, year ago or so, and so I figured I'd do another one really quickly here. I know there's a lot of crazy news happening right now, but I figured I'd do this because I don't think anyone's talking about it, so I can maybe get to it quicker. Let's run through the IMDb. Alright, so starting out directed by Adam Wingard, which we new there are some writers for the movie eric parsons and max bornstein who wrote all the screenplays for the previous godzilla movies terry russio worked on this screenplay he worked on the godzilla vs the griffin screenplay back in the 90s and michael doherty and zach shields both worked on it of course the duo who brought us king of the monsters moving on to the cast interestingly i don't understand the way they've done the cast because it seems like some people are top build that shouldn't be and then we have some big players down here where they shouldn't be they should be up higher so i don't exactly know the lineup i don't totally get it but cool let's run through it alexander skarsgård playing nathan lind who doesn't seem like a name that i know there's nothing to the name but it just kind of has a familiar sound to it madison russell of course is returning played by millie bobby brown rebecca hall now plays someone named eileen andrews so we have two eileen's in the same movie brian tyree henry plays barney hayes the name kind of reminds me of mr hayes from king kong 2005 this is the biggest most interesting thing in the world so shun ogori is now apparently playing Ren Serizawa. What? That's a pretty massive thing to drop on the IMDb. I mean, I had talked about this in videos for a very long time that Serizawa, out of nowhere in the Godzilla King of the Monsters novelization, it just says he has a son. Out of nowhere, it just kind of says like, yeah, Serizawa has a son. And so it leaves you with the question of like, what? We never meet that son. What happened to this guy? And how come we've never heard about him? But yeah, I guess Serizawa has a son named Ren Serizawa. Now that's the casting that makes me question this and say, is this real? Are these names real? I don't know. That's why I said take them all with a grain of salt. We don't have any sources for where these names come from. The names just kind of popped up and so I guess they could be real or they could be fake. I don't know but the name Ren Serizawa appears here and you know it's played by the actor who for many months now I've been theorizing might be playing Serizawa's son. Yeah I guess that's entirely possible that he could be here and this seems to confirm it. Isa Gonzalez plays Maya Simmons. Julian Dennison playing Josh Valentine. Interesting that I don't think we have any other Valentines in the cast. I would have thought that he would have been the kid of one of the monarch workers in this film. I would have probably thought he would have been the kid of like Isa Gonzalez or someone. But no, it doesn't appear that he is the son of anybody in this movie. And so it's a new character. Probably will be someone's son. <laughs> He'll have to be. Just thought that was interesting. Lance Reddick playing a monarch director. Mark Russell. I don't know why he's so low on the cast list, but Mark Russell. Walter Simmons. Sounds like he'll probably be Isa Gonzalez's wife, played by Damien Bachir. I don't know how to say that name. It looks like we have two Simmons, so they'll probably be related. We have a new ad Admiral, Admiral Wilcox. I don't know who he's going to be, but I guess he could be a fill-in for Admiral Stenz, who maybe, according to extended canon, has died. We have a J. Wayne, a Horus, a Ben, Apex Cabinet Security, Apex Cybernetic Security, Apex Cybernetic Security, Apex Arm Guard. I don't know what these are down here, but we have Maya Apex Cybernetics Guard. We have three of those. I don't know what that means. But yeah, I mean, if Apex is cybernetics related, I wonder what kind of cybernetical organism they could be building or cybernetic something that they could be building. Probably something pretty big. Yeah, I guess these guys could be building Mechagodzilla or something. I don't know. I don't know why. But Apex, I guess, is going to be related to cybernetics, which is interesting. We didn't know that. We've got a Sona our operator, Hayworth, and then a few Hev pilots. So Hev pilot, Hev pilot, Hev co-pilot, Hev co-pilot. So that again adds to the credibility of this that we have Hev pilots because of course we do know they have is a new vehicle that will be appearing in Godzilla vs. Kong that will go into the hollow earth and will be anti-gravity. So it looks like we have some Hev pilots and stuff. Going through the extended cast, I don't know why these guys fall in other, but there are some pretty big names in here including Jessica Henwick, Denai Guerrero, who I do not think is in the movie. I think she'll be taken off soon because I don't think she's actually in it. Zai 
Aya Zhang feels like she's way too low on here playing Dr. Eileen Chen and Dr. Ling. She is returning from the previous movie, don't know why she's so low. Then you have a bunch of just like generic things. So reporter, monarch tech, mean girl. There's a lot of mean girls in this cast, presumably gonna be mean to Madison Russell, yacht party goer, probably partying off the coast of Hong Kong or something, Hong Kong survivor, monarch technician, a whole bunch of stuff that we've actually talked about in the previous video, including the bar patrons, the news reporters, monarch guards, you know, lots of mean girls, some hev pilots down here as well, interesting, flight crew for monarch, monarch technician, so lots of monarch members, just like in the last movie, school kid, and then some admirals, so it looks like just a lot of general people, you know, your general Godzilla stuff, so you've got monarch workers, a lot of monarch workers in here, you've got Apex employees in here as well, scattered throughout, again, adding to the whole mystery of what the hell is Apex, then you've got a lot of just normal people, civilians, like tourists, party goers, refugees, survivors, you know, bar patrons, engineers, all this sort of news reporters, that kind of stuff. And then you got some soldier types in here as well. U.S. Navy and thugs. It's not a soldier, but you know, you got U.S. Navy and you've got like admirals and stuff. So your general Godzilla stuff. Now, if you notice, we scrolled through this whole thing and it doesn't appear that any of the mocap actors have been listed. So I don't think there was any mocap done for this movie, but I don't see in here anything for anyone like TJ Storm. I don't see TJ Storm in here at all, which is a little disappointing. You know, there's no mocap for the movie. So this is going to be the first Godzilla movie in which no one plays Godzilla. So that kind of sucks. But yeah, there's the updated IMDb. I guess it's kind of crazy. We got to reveal that it sounds like we're getting Sarazawa's son Ren in this movie, which is something, again, we've talked about for a long time. So it's not as shocking as it would have been if it just showed up out of the blue. I would have been mind blown. Interesting stuff for sure. Let me know what you guys think of all this down below. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I will see you guys next time for the next one. D-Man out. What? You never watched my 66 years of Godzilla tribute? Pfft. You know it's posted, right? I'm not supposed to give my opinion, but go check it out. And then you can tell me if you like it or not.